raining heavily that day. Defying it, Mansia danced in front of a large crowd in Irnalakuda, which is the same place where she was denied performing in the name of religion. It was during a function named Let Those Who Want to Sing, Sing and Dance, Dance, organized by DYFI, the performance was held. Mansia was denied a chance to dance in the Kudal Manikim Temple Festival recently, which stirred a lot of controversy as well. The function was conducted as the party's way of protesting against increasing religious disharmony. It was inaugurated by Minister Dr. R. Bindu. Later, a shawl was gifted to felicitate the guest of honor. Mansia, a Bharatanatyam dancer and a PhD research scholar in classical dance, had in February taken to Facebook saying that the temple officials denied her permission to perform despite printing her name in the program notice. She had declared that she does not belong to any religion. The temple officials claimed that she was denied permission as the shrine tradition does not allow a known Hindu to enter the premises. Mansia, a Muslim-born woman, was to perform at the 10-day National Festival of Dance and Music organized by the temple to be held from April 15 to 25th. Around 800 artists were expected to perform at the temple during the fest. ഒരു വേദിയല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റൊരു വേദി ലഭിക്കും എന്നൊരു ശുഭവിശ്വാസമുണ്ട് ശുഭ പ്രതീക്ഷയുണ്ട് 